Hello, Jamie Dukes here and welcome to Tip Talk Thursday, where every Thursday we share a single tip to help you be the best you can be in your mental health. This week's tip, very simple. Be kind. Go out of your way and do something for somebody else. Make a difference. That's a very important tip that you can do to create some leverage in your mental health. Now, you'll see my background, everything's a little bit different. I have, <laughs> This is still the uh, post-tropical storm Fiona. I still don't have power in my home. And as a result, I'm here in the living room with a single light. Bingo. To light things up while I try to uh, get some videos out during this time. So when I say be kind, I mean like going out of your way to make a difference for somebody else, to put a smile on somebody else's face. Whatever that might look like, I'm going to share with you two examples. One where I actually went the extra mile for somebody else. And two, where I got rewarded for being kind to somebody else. Okay, so let's, let's start with when I went out of my way to help somebody. So as I sit here now, it's one week after post-tropical storm Fiona hit Atlantic Canada. It is seven days without power where I am. And anyway, uh, last Friday night at around midnight, the Fiona hit our region and hit pretty hard. So Saturday was a bit of a write-off as the hurricane winds kind of died down throughout the course of the day. We learned that some people that were really uh, close to us lost a significant amount of shingles and experienced some roof damage they were getting uh, due to the heavy rains that we got from the tropical storm. Um, they had some leaks in the house. So, you know, this was the day after we learned this, and I said, you know, how about tomorrow, i.e. Sunday, two days after Fiona hit us, why don't I go up in the roof and kind of uh, see what I can do to help patch the hole, so to speak, you know, put a little Band-Aid on before you actually get some professionals in there to, uh, to help uh, fix that. And, you know, it was important to me because the following Monday, the day after, um, they were calling for some uh, showers and, uh, you know, we had to do something quick. So we managed to scrounge up everything that we had, tarps and some roofing materials that I had, you know, from the basement and so forth. And got up on the roof and spent the afternoon, you know, helping to patch up the worst areas of the roof. And, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we were pretty successful. And, uh, yeah, it was great. So, you know, that was it. That was, you know, that was my example of making a difference for somebody who is going through a pretty difficult time. I mean, it's very traumatic to experience structural damage in your home. There is so much uncertainty as to when you could actually get this stuff fixed because due to, you know, high demand for roofers and, you know, and also our construction industry is in such a way that it's difficult to find workers anyway. And, and many construction companies, you know, they're, they're booked months and months and months in advance and, you know, there's only so many contractors around to to help out in a situation like this, right? So, I mean, who who knows how long they would be without a uh, proper roof, you know, uh, to protect them against the elements, to protect their home. You know, that was just my way of going the extra mile for somebody else. Now, I want to share an example where I just did a, a very minor positive thing for somebody else and it came back and you know like unbelievable you know um, how the simple gesture meant so much to somebody and it was shortly after covid and probably a few months after covid of course everything was locked down but you know some of the restaurants had uh, takeout and that's what they were depending or that's what their business was dependent on for the most part and I remember going to Dairy Queen to pick up a birthday cake. And there's a huge, huge lineup to Dairy Queen. I was getting close to the window, but I mean, I was still on the road, you know, making my way, it, inching my way toward the drive through lane, actually going onto the parking lot. But I was still on the road, and there was a car coming 
toward me on, on the opposite side, you know, with the signal light on. So I gestured to them, go ahead in front of me, and, you know, they're both waving at me, uh, this lady and I presume her daughter. They pull up ahead of me and nothing to it. I, as I was waiting, I was just check, checking a few messages on my phone and no big deal. And uh, anyway, after about 20 minutes, when I finally got through the drive through I got to the window to pay for the cake and the worker in Dairy Queen said, oh no, the order has already been paid for. I'm like, what do you mean? Well, the lady ahead of you paid for your cake. And I'm like, what? Like, all I did was just let her in. Like, that's it. And, you know, I don't know if she was expecting that I just ordered an ice cream cone or something, but I mean, that's like a $30 cake that she just simply picked up the tab for. And when, when the worker told me that, I saw the individual ahead of me pull out of the, the uh, parking lot and drive down the road. And my initial thought was, oh my God, I got to follow them and <clears throat> thank them and just, you know, uh, at least pay them back or something like, you know, unbelievable. But of course, you know, to follow somebody who, you know, obviously be kind of weird, creepy perhaps. But anyway, I realized in the moment that I, I guess for me, just simply let, letting them through meant so much to them that they felt that they just wanted to give back to me and they drove away and they just, they, they felt good about it. And I'm like, you know, why would I bother chasing after them? Because just that simple gesture, even though it was like $30, made them feel so good and grateful for me to do doing such a simple selfless act, simply just letting them in ahead of me. Like that was all I did. And to them, it meant obviously 30 bucks worth of gratitude. <laughs> but regardless, you know, just another example where you know, in the thick of things when, you know, we're dealt some hands that aren't terribly pleasant by still being kind to one another, you know, people appreciate that. And uh, those, so those are two examples of where, you know, I went the extra mile and then somebody went the extra mile for me as, as, a, as a gesture of, of gratefulness or gratitude or whatever. Yeah. I learned something in that moment that you know, despite how difficult things can get, just simple acts of kindness can go a long way. And, uh, you know, I realized that by that individual picking up the tab for my Dairy Queen birthday cake, to them, they felt good about it. And they drove away and I'm like, why would I go and make it awkward and say, hey, let me at least pay you back or whatever, when they feel good about what they did. So let them have that. Let them have that satisfaction that they were able to, you know, return the favor, uh, say thank you in, in a non-conventional way, so to speak. So, yeah, that's all I can say is for this Thursday's tip, just be kind to one another, you know. If you have an opportunity to make a difference, like go do it. It'll come back tenfold in one form or fashion and if you don't get a free Dairy Queen cake at least you'll drive away feeling satisfied and in that moment in that day you made a real big difference in somebody's life and I think in today's world we need a lot more of that so thank you and take care